Hello, World of Tank Blizzards, it's Littlefinger, and I have a brand new tank in my garage, AMX 30B, and I am super lucky. Uh, this is a French Tier 10 medium collector tank. It looks super sharp here. Anyway, it is currently for sale only in crates. If we go up to bundles after going to your shopping cart, right here um, where the $50 pack is, there was a $5 pack where you got two crates, each of those with a 2.5% chance of dropping the AMX. And sure enough, I got it on the first crate. Um, so I am super stoked about this tank because it plays just like one of my favorite tanks, the Leopard 1. Let's take a look and uh, compare these tanks. So here we are on blitzstars.com using tank compare. I've got the AMX on the left, Leopard right next to it. These two tanks are very similar. STB1, WZ, FE, and the M48 Patton was all I had room to fit on. I did leave off the uh, Russians just because uh, those tanks tend to have limited gun depression and have much more armor, so they don't really fit into the same play style, so to speak, as these medium tanks here. 3,000 DPM, 250 pen. 350 damage, very much the same across the board on all of these tanks. We start getting some differences here when we get into weapon handling. And keep in mind, this is without any sort of equipment, so we can certainly make these a lot better when we add some equipment. 1.9 on the aim time. Dispersion, 0 0.308. So a little bit, not, not, not as good as the Leopard as far as the gun handling goes. It does have negative 10 degree gun depression, so uh, that is something that you want to keep in mind when we start getting into talking about the armor, because the tank does have decent turret armor. It has great speed. This is where I most likely compare it to the Leopard 1, 65 kilometers per hour. Um, terrain resistance there is the same, so you're going to get some really good acceleration, get up to that top speed real quick. So it's a tank with good maneuverability. Um, and what's that good for? Well, it's good for spotting. It's good for relocating. It's good for um, getting some distraction shots in there. So that is the typical play style, I think, of what this tank is going to become. Um, obviously, not a lot of players playing this tank at the moment. But when we move down to miscellaneous and extra, just point out here at the bottom, turret armor 120. So um, while it doesn't compare to a, a turret of, say, the M48 Patton, or even the FV, um, you know, it's, it's nicely rounded and you will get some bounces. And I'm going to show you that here in my very first game in this tank. All right, so here we are on Yamato Harbor. And this is a supremacy game. And uh, they've got a decent mix of mediums and heavies. So I'm expecting them to at least have a couple guys here at sea and... You can see it's just me and the T-54. Um, this is a Toes clan, so I know he's a good player, uh, but yet he isn't moving. So um, being really cautious here and uh, making sure I'm keeping my options open and can get out of town here in case these guys push me hard. We do get one shot on the FV right there through uh, close to the gun mantlet there. And... Uh, you can see I've got a heavy and we've bounced a shot there uh, out behind me and he's just kind of camped out on that ridge line where the TDs typically sit and then the T-54 is also hanging back on the ridge line as well. So uh, I noticed that he's kind of looking the other way and I'm afraid these two guys are going to push on me so I decide that I better get out of here. It's a weak position and I need to relocate. So this is what I'm going to do, and I've noticed now we've got uh, we've got a guy going down the middle. Um, so our our A is really exposed right now, but uh, I'm just going to try to get some shots in here. I think that one does go through. I'm not 100% positive there, but this FV4202 is in uh, pushed a little bit too far. Now he's about to get trapped. But we're being patient and you can see they have already got A and C and they are just seconds away from getting B. 
So now we are down three caps, and uh, so we got to push. We got to push in and get rid of this WZ one two one. Uh, so we'll show off the speed of this tank here as we come across the side of the map. We're up to 60 kilometers per hour. 67 there seemed to have been our top speed. Get there just in time for the kill shot. We're recapping C and I see that the T-57 is exposed. So finish him off. We've got three kills, uh, just over 1,100 damage. But they've still got two caps, and they're pushing hard on our last remaining guy who went A. And so they're at 820. Um, the IS-4 drives to base B, and I drive to base A, and we stop these caps right here, precariously close to 1,000 here at 920. So I'll sneak up, and I'll get one shot here on the IS-4 and I'll make sure I back up to safety uh, so that we can go ahead and get this fully capped so we don't have that reset on us. There's a quick snapshot into the Leopard 1. We trade shots. IS-4 shoots his Leopard 1 um, but we miss our return shot and just track him. You see he's down low. We miss our shot. He bounces. So even a, a heavy with an IS-4 here, um, you know, he's, he's angling this tank nicely. We're going to get uh, a bounce, but we take one there. Leo, not sure where he was headed. The E-100 here, I know we got to get him out. I was afraid of going around and, and getting caught in between him and the ST there. Um, so we take a big shot from him, but we still have 260 health left. So... Uh, it's getting pretty precarious, but we've got all three caps, so we just got to stay alive, really. And that's when I realized that IS-4 has got to be coming around the corner. And again, snapshot in there before he can aim and take his shot. And so with that kill, we put us right at 1,000 and um, pull off this game that we were really in bad shape on for a while. But you can see here from this mastery, uh, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. It's pretty low damage. But obviously not in many players' hands at the moment. Um, the tank's got good speed. The tank's got good maneuverability. It does have a fast aiming gun. And playing it hold down is going to get you some, some block shots. So overall, you know, I'm looking forward to this tank because uh, this is one of my favorite play styles. So um, I'm glad I was lucky this morning. And uh, as always, guys, get educated, not fingered. Little finger out.